All right, so here's part three. We're gonna try and get it started again. I end up removing the one bolt right here that helps to support this bracket here for the air, the air filter intake assembly. And it ran out real bad. I put a, the oil that I drained out of the engine, I, I put it in that pan. I pulled the plug out and it looks dry, so it couldn't have flooded. I'm gonna put that back in. So what I thought about doing, now that I know that this thing floods real bad, I'm gonna try and turn that fuel valve on just a little bit, just to see if we can keep the machine running here for a little while to make sure it gets oil everywhere. I mean, it was running for about a minute or so, but still like it to run a little bit longer than that to get oil everywhere it's supposed to be. Now it was hard to turn this in before. But I was using a needle nose pliers. So I'm gonna turn this on if I can. One revolution. Let's see if we get anything coming through when we do. I see something in there dripping. So <laughs> look. I barely have it open. <laughs> uh, let's close it up a little bit again. See if it slows down. I'm just trying to slow it enough just to see if we can get it to run. So that's off. I'm just going to crack it. Now it's just a slow drip. Oh, it's picking up speed. But it might be enough to run it. Yeah, it might be enough to run it. I don't know. Let me see if I can start it. Look at all the rust come out. A little too much gas, maybe. I don't know if it's run out of gas. I turned the throttle down a little bit. There we go. You see all that rust that came out of there, though? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. It's dripping. Might be a little bit too little throttle. I'm going to try and keep it running like this as long as possible, or at least for maybe five minutes. That would be wonderful, just to get the heat filled up and everything lubricated. 
At least the shutoff works anyway. Good. Guess we'll go sit over here on the seat that the Kubota gave us. Don't sound bad. I don't hear any knocking noises. I'm half tempted to try and put it in gear and see if it would move, but I didn't do anything with the transmission yet. Probably has water in it, too. What the heck was that? You see that red come out? I don't know if that was just a, like an amber from the muffler. Still dripping a little gas there. I swept up all of that foam air cleaner. And it's oily yet, too. That almost looks like a... Is that a gas cap? It looks like a gas cap. So does that. Huh. It even has threads like a gas cap. Huh, maybe not. Must just be a reflection or something there. Looks like one though. Hey, this is great. Alright, I guess I'm gonna... It's probably run, what, three, four, five minutes? We're gonna try and turn that fuel off, see if it runs itself dry. Would it have really died that fast? Was it only running on that? Uh, I don't know. That's okay though, as long as the fuel shuts off. Oh, there I thought I seen it drip again. But that could be just laying on there. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. That, that tractor sounds good there. Needs a new muffler. Needs a lot of new things. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, thanks for watching this, guys. I, <laughs> I sure am happy to see it running the way it is. Even if it ain't, even if it has carburetor problem, but boy, it sounds good. That that makes me feel good. That really does. So, all right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.